Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna take you along on a thrifting day. I'm gonna hit up as many thrift stores as I possibly can so that I can collect stuff for my booth in Stewartville as well as the vendor show that's coming up in Stewartville as well um, in October. So we're gonna hit up like the Goodwills and the Savers for sure. And then maybe see if there's any garage sales or anything like that that I can stop by. Um, and then possibly some of the local thrift stores. See how many I can get to today because I also have to work on freelance graphic design stuff. So let's go. Okay, so I just got done at Goodwill and I found some cool stuff. I'll show you guys. Um, let's start with this metal plane. Pretty cool. Got that for $9. This little goose. Little goose. Try not to break anything. Um, an old Minnesota t-shirt or sweatshirt, not that cool. I don't really know what this is, but John Deere old looking can thing. I haven't looked any of these up. I usually do that while I'm there in the shop, but I didn't do that. Old fishing lure box. There's some stuff wrapped I'll show you guys later, but I'll just show you these that you can get to. This wire duck. And then I found a painting, which is also in the back. I'll show you guys that later as well. I'm like in love. I might keep that. So yeah, so far that's some of the things that I found. I'll show you the rest later. Get the goose back in here. Okay, put this plane back. Hopefully we'll be hitting another Goodwill and Savers today. But first I'm gonna go do some freelance work and eat lunch. Okay, the lighting in my room is not the best, but here's the painting that I found. Looks way better in natural lighting. And then I put everything out here, so you've already seen some of this stuff. Here's the other glass, big vase. Not super vintage, but definitely looks good with goose. So far that's what we have today. And then I plan to go to Goodwill Savers on the other side of Rochester and hopefully find some more stuff. Okay, so it's obviously another day. I'm in a different outfit, but I'm gonna go through and kind of show you guys how I mark my items that I thrift and kind of the process of how I keep track of what I'm making or what I have in stock still and what I'm making on each item. So I go into Google Spreadsheets and list out every single item and then record the original price that I paid for them. And then I take time for each item and look them up on Google to see what their actual value is worth. And then I price it around that price for when I go to a vendor show or when I put it in my booth. And so hopefully I don't buy anything for more than what it's actually worth. Usually when you go to thrift stores, you're buying it pretty cheap. Um, but that's what you're gonna see me doing quick is going through each item like this goose, that um, vase over there, and I have a few more items here and then also out in the garage that I will research and record. So that way I can keep track of how much I actually made on everything. 